welcome back to my channel it's definitely been a while and it's not that i haven't wanted to be here because like, i miss uploading and i miss filming i've just been super busy and i'm trying to get it back into my schedule but i need to do more filming so then i can edit because i think the hardest thing right now is even just finding a time to film but today is a snow day for me and so this is the perfect time i have to film so lucky for you i have a journal flip through and i have two completed journals that are not my current journal and so i need to get these flip throughs up first we're gonna start with this one which is journal number eight Oh my god, I never put in the end date. This happens every time I film a journal flip through, I feel like. But I don't have a pen on me right now. So I'm going to have to do that later. I'll most likely forget, but that's fine. So this is journal number eight. The actual journal is from Dollar Tree. The stickers and everything, I have a video where I actually decorated this journal. Um, so you might have seen that already and uh, yeah that might give you a little more information. So that partially showed me setting this up. I think I added some more things after but you may have already seen this spread so far. My family is already making this hard for me to film. I don't know if anyone else comes from a loud family. I'm sure there's a lot of you but I definitely have a loud family. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Also if you see like any like even if it's like really specific stationery you can comment down below and ask me where it's from and i'll try to answer as best i can so we open it up to this is a little postcard it was like for free and some kind of thing i don't know but they were like connected with more and so i included it in here i like using postcards to decorate like the fronts of my journal at the very beginning but the day when i started this journal my cat died his name was harry and um i really miss him i have like had a lot of animals die in my life for some reason but he's like extra special and i even got a tattoo of him like more recently um so this was actually this was april 10th 2021 and it is now february 2nd 2022 and like i only got this tattoo like a month ago the lighting is probably a lot worse but i really hope it's not like super bad or super drastic like i said this might be impossible to film because of my family but i'm back we showed these pages oh yes so my cat died hairy and i was going to show my tattoo i got it about a month ago in denver and here's my cat harry in his little strawberry hat that he had and here's him in his little harness because i used to take him on walks and that's just like another one i'll try to tag the artist but it's supposed to look like a playing card so this was the same day and so the stickers for this one were like like went along with that sunday towards the beginning of my notebooks it's always like the most put together and looks the best and i put in a lot of effort into like design the pages basically so i love looking at the beginning of my journals but sometimes they can really drastically change took the ACT. I like the stickers that I used. I remember these stickers came like in a pack and I got them at this place called CW, CW Pencil Company or something like that in New York. So that was not fun. And this is like a, just a continuation. See the effort, like this is a magazine cut out. And I like the paper I used with those stickers. Thursday, another little cutout from a magazine or something like that you can also get like books from i recommend like five below because they have like ones with really cute illustrations and like it could be like a self-help book so it like kind of has more inspirational things goal is to get through school because if you don't know me i really hate school and i have a horrible relationship with school so my goal here was literally just to get through and that's what i'm doing again friday i used another one of these little cutouts it's nice to have a quote it's interesting to look back do list saturday because i was reading i don't know if i mentioned like in my writing of what book i was reading but the thing is i i use goodreads so i can always look back on like the day i finish books or like around that time and i can figure it out i really love goodreads and i love how i can track that kind of stuff Ooh, see my favorite thing is like a page with a lot of writing like i love how simple it is it just has the books it's just very satisfying to me 
there's a channel i think it was july it's like how to be july but their journals are like filled the pages filled with writing and it is so satisfying more writing oh my god this is kind of why i love like smaller notebooks because the pages of writing is so satisfying now they're book stacked this one's really cute i like to get this magazine it's called breathe magazine and they have like their editions are like mostly about like mental health and stuff and they have the prettiest illustrations in them like i think that's where this and this were from and a lot of the cutouts i have were from Yay, it's Vicka. Here we have an Etsy little purchase spread. This is like probably my favorite shop on Etsy. Their shop's called Yay, it's Vicka, as you can see. You can just look that up on Etsy, but I love everything in the store. So I got a washi tape. Oh my god, this is so cute. Adorkable goodies made with love and laughter. Here are socials. You can look up there. This was just like the packaging tape on it and it's so cute. I just couldn't throw that away. Even just this is the paper came with. But I got this washi tape. I probably got some stickers as well. Monday. This is one of the stickers from the Etsy shop. And this is the washi tape. I was definitely excited to use it. <laughs> oh, and I guess similar timing. I got things from All Things Leanne. I haven't ordered for a while. I need to check her website, but I have like a lot of stickers now and like big stickers. These are like my individual stickers. If you're new here, I like going to All Things Leanne because she has like individual stickers that I enjoy using like on the covers. But even if she has, even if she has new ones out, I have like so many different ones from different places that I don't really need to go out looking for some. Plus, I really want to make more of my own. I have some designs that I'm really proud of, but it's going to take me a minute to get back into like a routine because I, I want to start posting more on YouTube again and get that settled and worked out, like get in more of a routine with that before I launch anything new on my Etsy. And if you didn't know, I have an Etsy. It's called Star Stationery Supplies. So always like linked below, I think. And I think there's a direct link like when you go to my page on YouTube in like the channel banner. Anyway, that's not important. Just writing. I love when it's just writing. Sometimes it's better without the stickers, but I mean, this page is kind of boring. But this page just says reflection, so I guess I was reflecting. Thursday. While I flip through this, like, I'm really impressed with how much I wrote because, like, I feel like I don't write a lot. I mean, I still write, but I feel like I don't do it, like, as much. But I feel like it could be because this is a smaller notebook, so it looks like it's more than it is. I don't know. This is a quote from a YouTuber that I used to watch. I haven't watched him in a while, but you spend so much time operating in fear that you don't get to live in happiness. <laughs> This page was like a thing for school <laughs> and it's like a school ring and I never thought I would get one of these but at the school I go to now it's like a big thing and so me and my friends all showed up in suits and I picked a bright pink one. <laughs> that was fun. Rainy day. I love these glittery stars. I think I got them from Staples. This is just a cutout from, you know how you can get like individual sheets of different patterns of paper, like if you go to the craft store. Well, I got one with that that had like a pattern of all different things on it. And um, I just cut those things out to use like as kind of ephemera or like die cuts, I would say. And then these are like actual like, I guess ephemera pieces, I think that's what people call it, or like die cuts, just things to glue in that are also from the craft store. I cut it from Joanne's Fabrics. And there's like a happy planner, like brand or like line. Um, that's what this sticker is from, like the ones that are in the thick booklets. But they're kind of expensive, but you get a lot for what it is. Like it's like bigger. But like I see them at like Michael's and Joanne's and like all different craft stores. <laughs> and we got a cat. I find it funny because like I said that we settled on a name, but that's not his name. So it changed. This is more like about books. This books books more books this was like a big book thing <laughs> i still love books but this was like where i was like i had a long tbr and i was constantly getting new books and looking for new books but now i have enough books where i have a list on my shelf of books i want to read so i don't have to constantly look for a new one and uh purchase new ones Again, my cat's name is not Chester. It's actually Buster. That's what I thought it was at the time. These right here are both like 
cutouts from the paper, tissue paper, that my Etsy order from Yay It's Fico came in. We're writing Monday. I love this look. It's all blue. And then I love this kind of sticker, which again is explaining where I got that sticker. Oh, it is CW Pencil Enterprise. That's the name. Well, that's where I got like these sets of stickers. Here's a fun quote. And like the moon, we must go through phases of emptiness to feel full again. Thursday. I also like this. This is yeah, it's Fika stickers as well. And I like the craft paper. These cutouts specifically, I know where they're from. And they're from Five Below, like I was kind of recommending before. And it was actually like, I think some kind of workbook almost. And I just instead used it for like cutting out the pictures, which I still have it to use more. And this is from a magazine, which... This is really pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just if you're wondering, I guess. Um, and by the way, if you guys wanted to know, I do prefer they, them pronouns. Thanks. More books. See, really in a big book moment. This was like cutouts actually from a book, like a book cover. I was helping my school library out and they were getting rid of a bunch of books. And so I got to keep things songs and books that go together this is an interesting idea Friday. i like this sticker with like this border i love toys more writing the banana sticker this was like something i got from from gabby who is another journaler on youtube and i'll put their channel up somewhere and i guess i did a nose strip did this interesting drawing of coffee cup. I mean, I did it like pretty messily and scribbly, so it's not pretty accurate. I like how I made this title. Oh, of course, I love the frog stickers. It's so cute. I love when I include pictures in my journals, and I really want to print out some soon to just throw into my current journal, but I forgot to write about it. But a picture is worth a thousand words, and so it tells enough to the story. It reminds me of this actual time, so I could describe to you what this is by just looking at it. In days where I don't feel like writing a ton, I'll just do a little bullet list, and I make the bullets longer as long as I want, so I don't feel pressured to write a lot. And that's something I recommend and if you don't really want to write or you're feeling kind of stuck. Monday. Another picture. Like I said, I love having pictures in. The last day of school. That's so exciting. I'm excited for my past self. Normal pages. Okay, this is when I <laughs> cut my hair. And so lots of hair things. This picture was like on like a weird black and white printer. The one that's like thermal printer my mom had. And so that's why the picture looks really weird. But I cut my hair at this time. I kind of love these little like doodles and stuff. It's just fun. I think I got like a mini balloon that I gave to one of my friends. Saturday I visited Micah, which it's really exciting because it's like it's less than a year later. But now I know that I'm actually going to that school. I was accepted and I'm very excited. But I was visiting schools at the time. I also visited Mass Art, which is in Boston. This is an article from my local newspaper. One of my favorite donut places closed and it was very sad. I'm someone who grinds my teeth a lot. So this was just a page of pure anger. This was really me on my book grind because there were 13 books in May, which is like insane. This was definitely a hyper fixation. I still would say I read a lot, but like this many, that's like insane for me. I'm a really slow read. I think I was just so done with school. I was really checked out and I just did this like in all my extra time But right now instead I in my all my extra time I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing again. I got a switch light I finally decided to get one and I found one on eBay. They're still really hard to find. That's been my hyper fixation But I love when I hyper fix on reading and honestly, I would be right now But books are just really depressing. That's what I've learned because Right now, I cannot emotionally handle that. Pride month. Love Victor. I was watching this show. My sister was coming home from college. This was a lid from my Bobo. Books I run, want to read and then I never put anything down. This is just a printout from online. I had like a ton of them at one point. And so those are just like leftovers. And this is just a receipt. I love when places have 
just branding stickers because it just really adds to my journal. Oh my god. My mom got me this giant cactus squish, like the biggest one because I was looking for the biggest one. Since I saw people on TikTok who their dogs loved them and like had the biggest one and my dog like really loved the smaller ones and so I was really excited for my, like I basically gave it to my dogs. My favorite places in St. Louis. I live in St. Louis. Sometimes it's like it's nice to just like kind of gather the things you love just to remind you of them. And I don't know, you might be forgetting about like old places that you actually really loved. Some cute pieces. I remember this one. This one was actually really interesting. I went to a coffee shop and there's this little like bin outside, like a little box. And if you left something there, then you could take something out of it. And so this was the one that I took out of it. And I put in like a little drawing or something. It was interesting. And then, yep, this is, that's where it ended. I gave up for some reason. I think I was just like uninspired and like done with this journal. But I made it pretty far. I normally don't not finish books. I try to push myself the most to like actually finishing a book, but I mean, I also don't want myself to stop journaling completely and I want to stay like inspired. So it was just the time to move on. And I moved on to one that's a bit bigger. So yeah, this will be the next journal flip through. But that's the end of this one. Really, I hope the lighting was not terrible. And I really hope I get this up in like a normal amount of time and that I don't disappear from YouTube forever. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next video.